Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, actually it's signal analysis of NAE performers, and this this study is a kind of joint study between uh, Pompey Faber University and Artificial Intelligence Institute, and both are in in, in Barcelona. So organization is I'm going to uh, start with uh, the introduction and a little bit talk about the background. Not deeply about Macams, a little bit Macam music and and Ney, the instrument, and our data collection, and the things that we we did about signal analysis and the results, and finish with the discussion. And we did a a computational study uh, in which we we analyzed actually eight widely acknowledged Turkish Ney players. And the range is, is between, these dates are the recordings dates, I should start. We start from, as, as far as we can, 1920s to 2000s. And what we did, I mean, on the top of the signal analysis, we also manually segment and identify more than 300 this expressive content of, of NAE recordings. So, I mean, we... On the top of that, also we choose to to analyze and the vibrato and what we call in in, in Turkish and kaydırma we call which which can be thought like a maybe portamento, and we chose these these two actually as 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 a result of the discussions we did with with famous and uh, nay players. I mean we did interviews with nay players and at then we chose to analyze these two, and I will talk. The detail why we choose them, and also, um, I mean, there are equivalent Western studies about special for vibrato, but additional to the, the to the features that they have analyzed, we we decided to add one another feature which we called vibrato rate change, and also for for the kaidirma, we we decided to add another feature. We call it pitch bump, which I will going to explain detailly. And also, we try to uh, compare these articulations with the ones used in, in in Western music. Okay, I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not an expert, and I'm not going to talk about deeply Macam music, but the things that difficulties, I mean, like all the music, it's a complex, I mean, Macam music. And there is no a straightforward way to to explain uh, Macam music. I mean, even the the intervals is a is a, is a huge discussion uh, area of 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 Macam music. And I mean, but but we can say that again. If I'm saying saying something wrong, please correct me. But we can say that there are more than 17 intervals in in an octave in in Macam music. And uh, I mean, among the different interval systems, and there are different uh, ways of naming these intervals, but we decided to use Holderian comma, actually. I mean, and we, in our study, we take this Holderian comma as the smallest unit to, to make our analysis. Actually, we take the smallest unit as the one third of Holderian comma. Uh, this, we, we take the reference from uh, Barish Boskurt, and, and, but we, we, we No, no, I, I, no. I'm saying the the one third of the whole in comma, because I mean, uh, this is okay. Nay, nay is an instrument. Look like this. Probably most of you uh, know, and it is a it's a it's a kind of flute actually, but it is an, it's an oblique flute, and it's made of reed, and it is it's a beautiful instrument. It's really hard to hard to play because it's an it's an it's oblique. Flute only that, and and the, there are different I think ik, different types. I think in Iran there is a kind of similar one, but in Turkish one there are six finger holes, and a thumb 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 hole in the in the back. So there are seven holes, and it's a really amazing instrument. You can it's also dependent to talent of the player, but they can produce up to two and a half octave. Uh, they can yeah sounds from from this, this instrument. 
and uh, more and in there are different types like uh, I mean it, it changes from for instance the, I think the biggest one is 95 centimeters and the smallest one I think is 52 if again say I'm saying something wrong please correct me or and more more of that there is a, a kind of a score representation they tried to make a score representation of Makam music and also name music starting from 20th century but it is really hard to represent this music because like all the Makam music it, it includes amazing amount of expressive content and even even more we just realized actually it is we cannot maybe call it as expressive content because it is it is more or less the content of the music so I mean what we can say simply with the score representation it is not easy to represent this music and like a pitch graph I mean you can see there is this kind of uh, there's a different kind of connection styles and these vibratos and for instance here you can see okay here is a really nice example of, of a of we call it kaidrama we don't call it portamento we call it like I think in Turkey they also call it kaidrama so the the idea is to 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 connect the the, 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 the music the notes actually rather than the transition and for instance this is a vibrato and I will give you an, an a sound example but it is not that one which I did a mistake so so I I am not going to give you a sound example really it, it doesn't work okay so let's look a little bit more than <laughs> okay okay The, the the performance practice I mean as I said there are amazing am, uh, amount of content the expressive content the embellishments and but it is not marked in the score and but they are really distinctly important for this music and even they are not taught actually to to to, to students so I mean from the interviews with the experts we realized this even the naming of even the namings are are a problem in in makam music. I mean, we couldn't find. We couldn't find. Okay. 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 We even. I will prepare the audio from here. Okay, man. And even we couldn't find how to uh, as a, a literature to name these embellishments. So, but uh, as as the readings we have done, as the interviews. We, it's vibrato was easy actually the the this deviation in, in in modulation in the pitch and we can call it vibrato but the hard the hard one because there is no western equivalent uh, the wakaidrama but at the end we decided because it's a really characteristic uh, expressive content so we, we we decided to analyze this one and also we uh, we decided to call it like like the turkish one kaidrama okay and I want to give you a, uh, for instance, a, okay. Like for, for the vibrato, let's give it. Maybe one more time. Can you play it again? It is a really characteristic vibrato of, of name music, and the other one, as we call kaidrama, which is the connecting the, the two notes, and it can be ascending and descending. I will give you uh, talk a little bit more about the characteristic, but it sounds like like this actually. This kaidrama. One more, yeah. This this uh, this behavior and this is really characteristic and and we call it and also Nay players call it kaidrama and the data collection we we try to choose like a homogeneous data we, we choose eight well known uh, per performers and we try to choose as far as we can uh, try to cover all the recorded area of 
of, of nay performances that are more, I guess. No? Okay. And we try to choose with inside different macams, and these are the birth dates of the the, the performers we have choose. And analysis. I'm not going to talk to you deeply what we did, but mainly we used, thanks to Barish Bosgur, Macam Toolbox, which has a yin implementation, and we choose the hop size of 10 milliseconds. And again, we, 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 we use the octave correction of Macam Toolbox. I think there is no more. Thank you. And the, the features we extracted, the, these things are from also Western studies, the equivalent ones. Extend is this one. I mean, it is two times the extent. Uh, in our table, we t take the half. And rate, rate is, is in hertz, actually, in the vibrato. And what we include, the rate change, which is uh, from the, I mean, rate, another different characteristic, for, especially for Ney, we realize rate changes, actually. It is not constant in, in this music. So we decided to analyze also this rate change, which is a really characteristic behavior of uh, vibrato in Ney. So for, for Kaidirma, I mean, as, far, as you can see, it is a kind of connecting, maybe like a portamento. Uh, these things are obvious, the direction, um, ascending or descending, uh, glide amount, uh, the starting and the ending. But again, another characteristic is, we, we call it pitch pump. I don't know how to call it. I couldn't find a Turkish equivalent for this one, actually. But I mean, maybe can we? I mean, it's really characteristic. Before the, I mean, the second note, there is usually this pitch bump. It's sometimes it is higher, sometimes it is lower. But it's a really, really characteristic. I mean, if you play the Kaidirma again. Players goes a little bit up and then goes to the the, the transition note. And, <laughs> and for the analysis, these are the the data. But, but the um, I mean, maybe I can do this. Okay. I, I will talk a little bit more. But the interesting part is there. There are some. Regularities in, in, in vibrato actually, especially the extent is, is, is I mean, uh, it's, it's really, players are really regular for this one. The, the extent is usually one, one holder in coma. Except Hayri Tumer, which you can, which he is the oldest player, and even, even I can understand he has a different style of vibrato, which is softer. And, but we, and also his extent is, is shorter than the, the, real one, the other ones. And I will talk a little bit more about these tables. And for, for Kaidirma, I mean, it has less regularity than the vibrato, especially for the ascending and descending. The glide amount is changes. I mean, it changes a lot. Like, we can say there is no regularity. It can be one holder in coma or 114 holder in comas, which is equivalent to two octaves. I mean, they can go up to two octaves. But the one kind of regularity we can say for the ascending, uh, the amount that they go up is always higher than the amount for uh, compared to the descending one. But the, the interesting part is the pitch pump, which there is a really, I can show you in this table, for the pitch bump here, there is a really this kind of regularity. I mean, glide amount, no. I mean, they can go up uh, or high or little. But pitch bump, there is always this kind of pitch bump, which is around one octave, one holder in coma or three holder in commas. Again, same for the descending one. And if we compare, I mean, we couldn't compare the Kaidemar with the Western ones because there is, we couldn't find any equivalent. But for the vibrato, I mean, if you compare, try to, with the Western equivalent, in Western music, string instruments, according to st the previous studies, it's around one holder in comma to 1.1, the equivalent. And for singing voice, it is 2.7 to 9 holder in commas. 
But in name music, uh, extend is, is one or really close to one. It's always this. Again, as I said, higher to is, is a different case. And for the rate, for general, Western music according to study is around 4 to 15 hertz, probably about a rate. Uh, if we specify for the singing, it is 2.7 to 9 hertz. Uh, in name music, it is, as far as, uh, according to our data, it's around 2 to 7. This is, if we, the, the, the 1, 2 to 7 is, if we omit the extremes, it's 2 to 7. And interesting part is this rate change, which is in Western music, it's common in violin and soprano singers. If we compare in, in, rain, in name music, uh, and in, in Western it's around 15%, in, but in name music it is always, more or less always there. And it is 30 to 60%. And one more thing that we, I don't know if it is correct to say, but this rate change increases as the uh, for the young name players, I mean, we, we, we gather this, I mean, uh, we observe this from our data. And I think I talked about this. And pitch pump for the Kaiderma, the, the, the most characteristic thing we obtain is this pitch pump. I mean, actually what we are planning to use this as a feature study. I mean, for, for instance, for vibrato, the rate change, which is really characteristic. And for this transition, Kaiderma pitch pump is, is really, really a characteristic feature uh, for name music, I guess. And more or less, that's it. And thank you. And any questions? So.